Hi everyone, Sin here. Today we're going to do some engineering and stuff. In this video, we're going to discuss how to configure an ultrasonic sensor and perform basic data acquisition to measure a distance. This will be the second part in our Sonar construction series where we attach an ultrasonic sensor to our servo. Configuring the sensor in LabVIEW using the links functions is straightforward. It only requires the addition of one function to read the sensor output. This function does require slight modification, however, which I will go through later to save you hours of debugging. First, let's go through the datasheet to understand how the sensor works. Here I have a datasheet for the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. To understand how to program a wireless sensor, we need to know how it works. A quick theory of operation is as follows. We send a trigger pulse. This results in the sensor outputting a burst of 40 kHz ultrasonic waves. These waves propagate through space and when hidden objects are reflected to the sensor. The sensor detects this and is high for the duration of the period of the reflected pulse. This is the echo pulse. We can then work out the distance to the object by multiplying the echo pulse high time by the velocity of sound in air and then divide by 2. This is to account for the distance being counted twice, that is, the distance to the object and the distance back to the sensor. So now that we know how the sensor works and have inferred the pinouts, VCC is 5 volts, ground is ground, trig is the trigger pulse input, and echo is the echo pulse output. Other noticeable specs are the range of the sensor. It can detect between 2 to 400 centimeters with a specified accuracy of 3 mm. If we now look at the circuit schematic, it is quite simple. We wire VCC and ground to the 5 volts and ground provided by the Arduino respectively. Then we wire trig to pin 6 and echo to pin 7. This will be important in our lab view code. I won't go through the servo connection as I've gone through this in our previous video. Now we are ready to program the sensor. The front panel has had a style change to military neon green and black. This will be the theme of our sonar system. We have a numeric indicator in centimeters for distance, which is adjacent to a horizontal progress indicator. This is to give the user visual feedback of the object location in response to the numeric indicator. If you want to be consistent with the data sheet, you would set the minimum value to 2 and the maximum value to 400. The awesome dial indicator shows us the servo arm angle, and hence the angle of the object relative to the ultrasonic sensor. This will be important later when we construct a polar plot. And that's it. Let's get into the block diagram and see how we configure the sensor. So looking at our updated block diagram, there isn't much difference from last time. In fact, we have only added two functions and two new indicators. I won't go into detail on how to configure the Arduino and servo again. Please see my previous video for that. I will just focus on the ultrasonic sensor specific code. And here it is, the read.vi for the ultrasonic sensor. To access this VI, simply right click, make a hub, links, sensors, distance, ultrasonic, read then place it on your block diagram. Now before we go any further, I must warn you that this VI will require slight modification, as by default it doesn't work properly. Well that's what I found after hours of debugging and getting the results from my sensor. The issue is the function was not correctly triggering the sensor. If we open read.vi and look at the block diagram, you will notice the function inside has a stimulus pulse input which is not wide. After a deep dive through the sub-VIs, I discovered by default this was set to none, which means that no trigger pulse was sent to the Arduino and hence the ultrasonic sensor would not trigger. You need to set this value to high, so create a constant and select active high and resave the read function. This will now trigger your sensor correctly and you will get a measurement. Now back to examining the VI since we have it open. All we need to do is pass the links resource and specify the digital input channel, which is the echo pulse, or pin 8 in our case, the digital output channel, which is the trigger pulse, or pin 7 in our case. 
Then read the output in centimeters because we use metric units in Australia. This function will automatically convert the echo pulse into a distance for you, which is nice. We then pass this output through a median filter. This is to remove noise and have a stable output. It's not necessary, but you will find your output signal is not stable if you don't filter it. Now that's it, you have configured your Arduino to read your ultrasonic sensor in lab view. Thanks for watching my video, if you enjoyed this please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part.